जा कर रहे कुछ तो बोलो <laughs> तीन सौ साठ गज तुमने खरीद लिया ये अरे खरीद लिया समझो पर इतना सारा पैसा आया कहाँ से Hi guys, uh, welcome to iCarmic.com and today we have with us the gorgeous Neha Dupia and the very dashing Ranveer Shori, the cast for Mo Maya Money. In greed we trust. All right, this is a very very catchy title, but also you know a little negative. So what do you have to say? How does that get justified? In greed we trust is because that's what the characters think is right for them. Unfortunately, um, things don't go as planned. Because this is a thriller, and also because it's a thriller, we're not going to tell you much about it except the fact that it's a fantastic thriller. Okay, tell us a little about your role, starting with you, Ranveer. Well, I play the character of Aman, who is a middle-class uh, guy in Delhi, uh, who's married to the character that Neha plays, which is Divya, and um, he works in real estate. And you know, as, as you know, real estate is probably the most uh, ethically compromised <laughs> business uh, in India right now. And and uh, so it's it's there that he kind of uh, is sucked into this culture of greed and corruption right and neha do you just play the supporting wife or are you also doing much more than that there is no woman in the world even if she's a housewife or the mother of your children that she's just supporting that she's always there to uh, bring in some sort of uh, contribution and and make a husband's wife uh, i mean a husband's life hell but apart from that hell did you say hell yeah i mean it does he's just like all women are always there to create some sort of confusion and i'm doing exactly that what do you think is the one more that neha has and what is the maya in his life more actually means attachment i think so i think neha is uh, <laughs> uh i think neha is attached uh, attached to uh, what are you attached to neha let me see let me that's a very interesting question uh family uh yeah i think i think work yeah she's very attached to family and work that's so with a little bit of help from neha when we just answer that no, one i'm telling you i can go i mean if she was lying trust me i would have she knows i would have just called her out but i think you're right i think she's most attached to uh, family and work and what would be the illusion or the maya in his life that he's handsome <laughs> <laughs> You know, I don't think. <laughs> no, I think he is. The minute anybody says no, or a very um, and the beautiful Neha, the and a very dashing Ranveer, uh, he he like straightens up and he's like really me. I'm not used to. ये तो अभी हम नहीं बोला था ये तो. I mean, I you know, I'm not known yeah. exactly for my looks, so. But so much talent. You know, it's just amazing. Well, you will be surprised with the kind of uh, girl fan following that you have, Ranveer. Really? Yeah. So, so you want? Please tell me. Yeah. <laughs> with the kind of right. More girls who are my fans yeah. than girls. Yeah. <laughs> so Ranveer is just being modest. All you girls out there, yeah. Okay, but but um, uh, money, which is the third part of the title, which is the final one. I mean, how do you uh, see, you know, the impact of demonetization um, spanning out, especially with this movie, because this is just what ten days from now. Uh, are you guys a little wary of it? Because Rock On 2 has definitely faced a little bit of flak. Um, we've got Force 2, which is next, and that's also a, a little dicey. Uh, or do you think everything is going to be fine? I feel if a film is good, it gets its due. Like even if it's four years from now or seven years from now, especially now when we have iTunes and Netflix and satellite and you know all of that happening, it's going to get its due. Now, if a film um, is not doing well in the current scenario it's very unfortunate but um, you answer my question what was your rating for rock on 2 for rock on 2 we gave 2 uh, and uh, if there wasn't demonetization what would be your rating for rock on 2 it would still be 2 exactly my point you know i mean it's not that anything changes that much i mean it's not like it was you know when it's an amazing product and i'm hoping for the sake of we are in the industry and i'm hoping for the sake of the producers who come in this time including us that at some point we get our due if we get affected by demonetization it's very unfortunate but a film like mo maya money we couldn't have found the right time or you know a more topical scenario for us to release so yeah it's it's kind of worked out for us and i don't want to you know speak before my time but i'm hoping that the audience also likes it and when we finally um, on a more national level do you think this is the right move that the government has taken 
Sure, I uh, wholeheartedly support the move of demonetization because uh, I think it's a step in the right direction. Uh, and I also thank Prime Minister Modi for taking it this time because I think it makes our film all the more relevant. Of course, it's a double-edged sword because it might affect our box office collections. But then, uh, you know, everybody has to take a hit for the larger good. And uh, if we have to, then so be it. The preparation for it could have been better because uh, when one billion people are going to go and exchange their currency notes, you need some like proper laid out plan and infrastructure to be able to cope with that and I think uh, the government could have done a better job at that. Okay. Fantastic. So both of them have spoken without any filter which also means uh, Neha is there in the frame because it's no filter Neha. Congratulations on that show. Um, thank you so much both of you for talking to us. Risk profit Neha Dhupia and uh, this is Ranveer Shori. We're obviously here on uh, iKarmic talking about our film Mo Maya Money which releases on the 25th of November. So remember, make time for it, um, make money for it and go watch it at a cinema near you. <laughs>